I have a question. When was the last time you licked an envelope? Remember that I just licked glue face? Ah, the olden days. Well, our electronic life is very different now. How many times have you already checked your email today? Well, there's actually one man who's hugely responsible for that. And he almost single-handedly made that glue licking face extinct. Next time your fingers hit the keyboard to write a quick email, you might want to say thank you to Shiva Ayadore. Specifically, thank the 14-year-old version of him because he's credited with inventing email as a young boy in New Jersey in the late 1970s. Hi, Shiva. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mom. Glad to be here. How did email even come about? Share some of the important steps in the development of this. My parents and the invention of email in many ways are probably one of the best examples of the realization of the American dream. Born in India, Shiva lived in the slums of Bombay before his parents made the bold decision to move to the United States and give their family a new life. A new life that Shiva took full advantage of, finishing high school by 14 and enrolling in a summer program at New York University. Shiva found a job in the office of a medical college. His task was to transform the paper-centric inter-office mail system into an electronic one. And the software he developed was very much like the email we all use today. Every secretary on their desktop was a thing called the inbox. So everything we see today in every email program in the world, inbox, outbox, folders, address book, return receipt, to, from, subject, BCC, all of these elements and more all came from the inner office mail system, which was a physical system that was used in every office in the world. It was the first end user software application which made computing accessible to ordinary people. Shiva has four degrees from MIT. He's created multiple companies, and he also happens to be married to television actress and producer Fran Drescher. And when it comes to innovation, he is passionate about passing it on. I really believe that being an inventor and a scientist is not complete without also being a humanist and thinking about how we can give back to the world and change it. Thank you, Shiva. We wish you continued success. Thank you, Mo.